Now, when I was a youngster, we were taught that the power in the golf swing came from the legs. And I was taught to make a golf swing that looked something like this. And that was the position at impact. Right heel off the ground, hips rotated, and that was how you were supposed to hit a golf ball. Now part of the reason for that was that was how Jack Nicklaus hit a golf ball. He had a flying right elbow and he delivered his hips through the ball and hit it. Now everybody thought that because Jack made that work, that would work for them. Well, it probably will, but you need to have four hours a day to spend on the practice tee to make that swing work. One of the things I've never forgotten was a remark made by Lee Trevino when he played an exhibition game with Gene Littler and Gary Player at Durban Country Club sometime in the early 1970s. I went to go and watch and while they were warming up two of them would be hitting balls and one of them would have the microphone and would be talking to the crowd. Player had the microphone and Littler was hitting the ball. Now if you're a lot younger than I am and most of you will be you won't know who Gene Littler is, but let me tell you, Gene Littler had the technically perfect golf swing for those days. He was called Gene the Machine. So when Gary had the microphone, he was exhorting the crowd to watch Littler, look at his rhythm. He hit a wedge, the same rhythm that he hit a driver. He said, that's how you must swing a golf club. Trevino could stand it no longer. He stopped hitting balls. He walked across. He grabbed the microphone. He said, now listen. He said, you can't swing a golf club like Gene Littler. First off, you don't have the talent, and second off, you don't have the time. And that is where this swing of mine comes from. It's not my swing. In fact, it's Steve Stricker's swing. It's exactly how he swings. And considering that he's gone from 337th in the world to second in just over three years, tells me that this swing works. Let me show you the difference between the way people think you should swing, the way some of the pros swing, and the busy man's golf swing. 